Are you having the most frustrating day? You know, one of those days where everything that you attempt to do never works out. Maybe you have a laundry list of to-do things and each time you go to do something, some curveball comes around and you never get to, talk, to click anything off your to-do list. Are you tired of having that frustrating day and you're looking for ways to turn it around? If so, you're in the right place. I'm Amy and this is Another aha moment. So, I wanna share with you, I was having the most frustrating day yesterday. I had a laundry list of things I had to get done and every time I attempted to go do something, I didn't have the information or there were too many choices and I didn't know which one to choose and I couldn't get in touch with anybody and so I ended up running around and getting nothing done. Can you relate? Can you relate? I was so frustrated because I felt like I had wasted my day because I didn't have anything to show for it, even though I ran all over the place, right? I went to a building store to look at a door and they didn't sell the residential. And I went to a place to get sealer for tile and they didn't have the kind I needed. And, 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 and I just felt the frustration building. And then I had an aha moment. I want to share it with you because you can make this frustration into more fun. And fun actually stands for excitement, but also forgiving your negative emotion of frustration. F-U-N. Forgiving your negative emotion. All right, so what did I do? Well, I tell you what, I felt frustrated. <laughs> I'm going to be honest. I felt frustrated. But as I took some deep breaths. Now, for those of you who have been following me for a while, you know that I'm into box breathing. And if you've not heard of box breathing, check it out. It's where you inhale for a count of four, you hold your breath for a count of four, you exhale for a count of four, and you keep your lungs empty for a count of four. And you do this a couple of times, and this is scientifically proven to lower your stress level, to give you incredible mental clarity and calm your nervous system down. As a matter of fact, the US Navy SEALs actually do this before they go in on a mission. So that is the first thing that I did. Of course, I didn't do it right away. I did it at the end of my day when I was totally and completely losing my mind. Um, I took a couple of deep breaths. Then, I realized and I flipped it. And I said, everything happens for a reason. So if this is happening for a reason, what reason is it? And then I started to see a pattern. You know, I needed to go to that store that didn't sell doors because I met a man there who used to sell doors who put me in touch with a company and told me to tell them to give me his discount. Never would have done that had I not gone by that, that, that business. You know, I, I went through and dropped off something and was a, a tile at the tile store and I was complaining about a couple of things that I was feeling frustrated about. One of which is a leak in my, in my you know, water stains on my ceiling. And a woman actually said, I have the perfect person for you to talk to wouldn't have gotten that perfect person had I not gone and had I not shared my frustration of a day. And so I started seeing a pattern that although I was having a frustrating experience, I was needing to have those encounters in order to get where I needed to be. I needed to meet these people in order to put me in touch with the people that would ultimately help me. And so then it became my choice, right? It was my choice whether to feel frustrated or empowered, frustrated or grateful, frustrated or at ease. And when I took those box breaths and I calmed my central nervous system and I got laser focused and I got some mental clarity, I realized that I could just breathe and let that frustration go. I could free or forgive my negative emotion and allow it to direct me to a more positive space and in a direction that I needed to go. 
So hopefully, if you're having one of those days, you can take that box breath that I shared with you and see if there is a lesson. See if there is something that you needed to learn in that frustrating experience, in the encounters that created the frustration in order for you to ultimately tick those things off your to-do list. All right, if this helped you, please let me know. Give me that thumbs up or like button and subscribe to my channel. If you hit that bell icon, you'll get notified the next time I upload an aha moment. And if you know someone that's having a bad day, share this with them. And until next time, I hope that you have a fun-filled, energetic, positive, productive day.